Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Take on Mars. And uh, we're just picking up right where I left off in the previous episode. I'm doing live commentary this time, so no uh, post commentary. Though maybe I'll try and pull a Scott Manley and mix the two if things get a little bit slow. We'll see. Last time I was forced to do uh, post commentary because things things were a little bit slow with the probe spam and all of that. So. Just to review, our next objective is characterizing the behavior and composition of the Martian atmosphere. So we'll need some sort of atmospheric scoop, I suppose. Uh, we, if we don't have the instruments for that, we could also try to document the characteristics of Martian climate, document the behavior of the polar caps, or assess the levels of radiation across the surface of Mars. All seem very important to a future manned Mars exploration mission. Uh, the tech tree is as it looks here, and before unlocking any further technologies, I am going to see what I can do with these, and also get more of a budget from my missions so that I don't run out of the possibility of unlocking further things. Though if you look at the bottom of the tech tree here, it doesn't look like it gets very expensive. In other words, uh, um, even some of the technologies that are at the top here, you could see uh, cost uh, upwards of uh, 200000 Actually, this one cost $950,000, this uh, zero-G probe chassis. And, you know, that's comparable to many of the prices at this level down here. So, I don't know. I don't know if we have to unlock the entire tier to do stuff. We'd have to see. There is a... This, this list does have a sort of uh, additional way of looking at things. But what we really don't see is the dependencies. In other words, what I would like to see in this screen, and since this is an early access game, I, I'm giving these suggestions. Um, what I would really like to see in this screen is what we can do. So we, we, we get the small lander, but um, some way of highlighting the ones we need for a specific mission. So we should have the mission drop down menu select the mission and it'll highlight the ones that we need for that mission for us maybe in blue or something uh, that would be nice uh, or maybe I'm just missing something I'm still wondering what this line is going to down here what? yeah I don't know what this is doing actually maybe it is doing something important that I'm not really understanding I mean, look. Uh, it's got. Uh, let me let me say I. Okay, no. Or uh, oh, it, it's the dependency for zero G probe chat. So if I click small rover, it connects to these. Okay. Huh. Well, I do want to aim for a small. Well, that's very expensive. Air cushion restraint system. That's tough stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just go out with what we've got right now and see how it works out. So here's our map and one more little point is that the I guess I guess they have the craters crater names in very light white for for some reason or another. Maybe to so it doesn't obscure the planet's image. But it is sometimes annoying. Okay. What sort of mission is this? I think this is just the same kind of probe mission we did before. Uh, there must be something else that we need to do. Um, well, this is this is worth three hundred thousand. There must be something else we need to do here. Execute the assigned mission tasks defined in the mission. Okay. What are the mission tasks defined in the mission? Looks like we can build a sm uh, new small lander. That's good. This one's worth 605,000. Must be more difficult. Let's go for one that's 300 300,000 first. And well, let's uh let's create a new lander. But it looks like it's already got a pre-built... See, uh, they give us a pre-built one that can take care of the tasks, I think. And we could just go with that. 
but and apparently this doesn't require a lander. Let me just take a look at the new probe parts first. Let's construct vehicle. So now we have uh, various things. It's still the same probe body, unfortunately, because it's not... Well, I mean, it does fit very well on the top of a rocket, let's face it. But we've got... We need a camera, power sources, and environmental analysis station. Well, we, we purchased the environmental analysis station. So it looks like we can uh, get one there. And that highlight screen there. Camera. Doesn't tell us what kind of camera we need. It could be telefocus, wide angle. I always like wide angle if I have a choice because that's more interesting on the screen. Basic imager telefocus. Oh, now we've got more. Uh, are these better than those? They're more expensive too. Power sources. Basic battery. Chemical battery. Power output 5 watts. 20 watts. Well, I don't see any reason why we would need... And so now we've got the 77K probe that they probably already built for us. And, and that's that, really. Um, we could replace the parts with the better ones, the $5,000 ones. But, yeah, let's just go with the one that they've got preset for us. I think there's no particular reason. I wonder what new capabilities it actually has. Is it just going to be uh, probe spam again? Or can we... I don't know. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I wonder if uh, these other ones will allow us to focal length fixed fixed focal length camera. I was wondering if there was one that would allow us to turn the camera around and take custom pictures of some kind. What is the difference between these two? You know what? Uh, well, this is black and white scanning. This is just black and white. Focal length 37. Oh well, this is this is this will give us. No, it's still focal length 37. Okay, well uh, let, let's try this basic. I want to know what the extra 4,000 bucks gets us. So let's let's uh, let's launch this one and yeah, let's launch this one and see if it works out. Uh, if if we satisfy the requirements, we'll still get 300,000 bucks, and that's more than enough to cover this. So, uh, I hope this is not going to be another session of probe spam. If they attempt to do that to us, I'm going to see to what extent I can uh, make our stretch our budget to build a rover instead. Okay, um, oh, looks like we're landing in the dark this time. Oh, we've got multiple cameras, is it? Or is that just possible cameras? Yeah, I guess that's just possible cameras. This, These are rover controls. Explore, how's our mission? Okay. Um, now, in the intro video, in the one where we actually got the the Prop M rover, we had some sort of indication of some instruments. Okay, uh, capture gas. Okay, so now we're capturing gas out of the atmosphere to do an environmental test of some sort.
I am definitely not moving the instruments. I've definitely waited till the whole thing settled down. So at least there's something for me to do on the surface of Mars this time. Uses. It's got a use limit. Uh, 10 uses. Okay. Temporary results. Content coming soon. Okay, so uh, we would get a blurb here about it. And, uh, all right, that's fine. Okay, I'll believe them. And uh, we still get all of these. Uh, instead of that temporary content thing, maybe... Wow, okay, this is all the research we did. Okay, that's, that's what all this spam is. Oh, and it's still coming. We did a lot of research. But yeah, these blurbs could be set in place. I don't know. Well, okay. I think that's that. I think we can disconnect from here. Okay. So what next? Hmm. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna turn the music down. Because I get the strange feeling that it's overwhelming. Can I turn the music down? Okay. Well, if it turns out... Oh, wait. No. No, I can't see how to turn the music down. Hold on a sec. Let me quit to menu and see if that option's out there. Yeah, I found the options. It's, it's just uh, there. Their tabs are less distinct than I... I'm used to. You can see the music level here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, uh, why don't we try the polar cap this time? That was new technology. Okay, what new te technology? Tell me, tell me, please. I really want to investigate the polar caps, but I don't know what new technology I need. Let's see the tech tree. Maybe there's some hints. Maybe we need something in particular. I don't know. I mean, it seems to me we could just plop something on there anyway. But, if that's not doable, let's go to a different crater. Let's try Kaiser Crater down here and see what new objectives we have. This is this $620,000 one. $500,000. Well, well let's, let's just scale up a bit. We did a $300,000 one last time. We've definitely done the $150,000 one. So let's see what a what's worth five hundred thousand dollars to them looks like it's possible with the same probe EAS I don't know what the improved camera really did for us uh, it was in the dark though so it's not like we were gonna get a great image out of it um, five hundred thousand let's let's see what we can do with a small lander let, let me just try that out so we've got this lander this is nice okay uh, it needs a black and white camera Okay, basic imager wide angle seems to be okay. Oh, it's got space for two. Okay, so we can have a basic imager wide angle and a basic imager telefocus. Very nice. Or maybe instead of those, let's get a cycloramic wide angle there. Yeah, okay. Power source. Well, let's spare no expense. Uh, well, it has three slots for a, for a battery. Let's put a chemical battery in there. So that's good if, uh, if for some reason your instruments... Let's see how much the cameras actually take. Do they... There's no power drain, apparently. That's great. No power drain on the environmental analysis station, either, which we also need. 
so let's have one of those. Ooh, it's actually got a little body on it now. Uh, 286. Well, not bad. I mean, we're expecting uh, a lot from this. Let's see. Is there any benefit to putting a robotic arm on it? Ooh. You don't really get to see the robotic arm. Uh, at least the, the environmental analysis station gave us something to work with, but we're not really seeing the robotic arm sort of pop out. Hmm, let's skip that then. That's expensive if we're not going to see the results of it. But one thing we do seem to need and we don't have is an antenna. Since when did we need an antenna? Is that built into the probes but not into the lander? Well, can't do anything more here. Yeah. So, let me go back to 3D map for a sec. Let's say tech tree, uh, is there something called antenna? Antennas, yes, low gain, high gain. Low gain sim signal amplification. Yeah, let's start researching that now since it's going to take 4 hours and 15 minutes. And while we're at it, no, the high gain antenna requires it and ultra frequency is down there. Okay, and let's get low range communication too. It's cheap and uh, it's bound to be a thing that we're going to need. So, so we can't do a lander just yet until that stuff happens. Let's get back to Kaiser Crater and see. So apparently the probes have the antennae built in. So let's, uh, let's construct a vehicle. And see, it it doesn't require an antenna. Okay, they've got to fix these jittery people. In the control room, the people are sort of flashing in and out. Maybe it's something to do with my settings, but I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, I didn't even notice uh, when we put the soil analysis station on the probe the previous time, it actually showed up because it was hidden by that the, the structure there. Um... Yeah, well, let's just go for the cheapy thing. I guess we're just going to go for the stock situation. I'm probably going to insist on making my own probe, even if it is the same as stock, just so I know what's on it. Uh, lithium thionyl. I hope that's just vaguely how you pronounce that. Battery. Okay. Um, yeah, let's launch this. Hmm... I guess we have to be pretty pinpoint with these things. Uh, I, on the previous ones, it was a wider range. But it looks like we're aiming for tighter areas. Not a lot of good it does me, since I have no idea how I would control one of these things anyway. If I was controlling it somehow and trying to make a pinpoint landing, that would be a different story. Still dark here. Maybe, no, this isn't really mouse control. I guess we do have to wait until we stop uh, moving around to capture the gas. It did want us to be very steady. So... I don't know what that atmosphere EAS tag is supposed to tell me. Whatever it's supposed to tell me, it's not very helpful that it's spinning around like that. What's that sound? Oh, I guess that's us slowing down. Okay. Okay. We are capturing gas. So why is this mission worth 500,000 exactly? I mean, we could use the same probe as we did before. Well, 
what's the complication? I have no idea. Was it the tighter landing range? Maybe, but... But it's hardly like that really mattered, to me at least, to the player. Didn't make any difference. Huh. Okay, uh, this doesn't really consider us done yet, does it? Notification. No notification. Hmm, capture. I don't think that picture really helped. Standard HUD. Capture more gas? I don't know. I think I failed to do something. But sign tasks. Okay. To task. Examine the specified area of interest. I don't know. What what am I not doing? Location waypoints, priority mission or this tag has something to do with our mission okay or oh was I supposed to try and aim at that atmosphere thing well I can hardly do anything about it now can I how was I supposed to aim at it? Now if I could control the camera that would be a different story. Clicking right mouse button gets rid of the cursor which normally in the case that you're controlling something but it clearly doesn't control the camera. Maybe one of the other cameras would be able to? Camera... But that doesn't really tell us anything about the So maybe I was supposed to capture the gas aiming at that. I don't know. Lots of stuff I don't understand here. Okay, I think this is a failed mission. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Can't see what to do about this. What? Why do I have this little thing on my cursor now? What is that? Okay. Things I do not understand. All right. Let's. Uh, well, let's take stock of this uh, this eventuality and try and see what we can do back at Mission Control. Honestly, I think the thing to do right now is to clear up... S First of all, I want to do some missions on the bright side. Uh, but it looks like all of our targets are on the opposite side. Gale Crater is getting a little bit brighter, but not just yet. Let's head for Gale Crater first. What kind of mission is this? Okay, um... I really need some way of... Mission details. Okay, explore, analyze, photo, four point. Oh. Collect photographs of the designated area. Okay, hold on. So maybe we got the analysis test and we just needed photos. Okay, let's go back to the other mission. That was at Kaiser Crater. Okay, and here. Okay, but it doesn't... Oh, mission details. Photo, 10 points. Priority major. 
but it doesn't really I, I thought I got a photo but let's let's get another photo I guess documentation of the area of interest okay well whatever um, yeah let's connect to vehicle let's see if just taking another photograph would help Wait, I didn't do that right Okay, um, we need you to take a photo. Oh, that's the no. Oh, I haven't tried that one before. That's good. We've got this, there's something indicated here, but I don't see, okay, well that didn't help. In camera mode I still can't turn it. These controls don't do anything. Probably need a camera that I could actually turn though. Don't know if that'll really help. Let me capture the gas again. Just one more time, just in case. It seems like I must need to do it over here for some reason. Okay, well, still haven't uh, managed all our mission objectives. Still don't know what I'm missing. Okay, we'll just try a different mission now. Okay, fine, probe. Let's give it as many bells and whistles as possible. So obviously environmental analysis station. Um, still only one camera. Let's try this basic image or wide angle. Okay. And let's try a chemical battery. Hopefully that'll be more robust. Maybe that'll help out somehow. Okay. I think that's all we can do with it. So, let's launch. I don't know. Let's see, let's get the X as close to it as possible. Is this like our error margin? Maybe we just land outside the target region. The target region is pretty tight there, it looks like. Maybe we just missed last time. Well, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's start getting some photographs, shall we? I don't know what... Well, you know, I mean, they've got image analysis experts like crazy, so... Maybe these will give some idea of something. Okay, well, we can't have uh, failed to get enough photographs. Let's see about this. This to tasks, I don't really see that we have uh, enough information on. There really should be some better information about our 
our mission here, and it definitely does not seem to be the case that we've got that. Nope. Definitely missing something. Now, I'm naively thinking that I can't really control the vessel on its way down. And that's because... Solid Rocket Boosters, really... I don't think it's normal to think that you can control that will burn, but maybe there is some sort of torque built into the probe body. I don't know. They could be helpful by, you know, telling me or something. Right. Okay, um... That's enough of this. Now this is where being set to real time really hurts. Obviously it would be helpful if I could just time warp and thereby get us into daylight on these missions. At least we'll get some nice landscape. Um, what I need is just to get one more of those. Since I've uh, racked up some losses, I want to get one of these $300,000 missions into, into our bank. And I guess I must be having trouble with the camera? Let's see. Let, let's go with that theory. Maybe it's the camera that I'm having trouble with. And because the two camera missions I'm not getting the money for. But but then again, it's when it says percent complete as far as the objectives, it stays at zero even even after I do the analysis. So it's a little bit weird. Let me just go with the pre-built probe this time. And I'm going to try this out. Oh, now this mission, you see, uh, the, the target zone is very wide. And our error is very narrow. Though I've actually clicked away from it, which would be a bad thing. So, maybe we just landed in the wrong position. Alright, let's find out. Let's just uh, get some more into our bank. And then next episode, I am going to come back with the antennae. And then we can create some landers. So that'll be a new development. And in that episode, I'll, I'll record at a time. <laughs> now I actually have to time it. So I have to record at a time when it's daylight on Mars. On, in the areas that we're looking at. That is a very interesting... Interesting fact. I wonder what these other slots are for. I'm wondering if I can focus it on one of these other slots. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Anyway, um, time for some analysis. Okay, analysis complete. Is our mission complete? Yeah, that, that goes to no mission assigned once our mission is complete. All right, let's uh, go back to the command center. Well, whether I want to or not, I'm going to keep this particular episode of take on Mars short because I'm I'm literally just waiting for the antenna to unlock 
and once that happens and once these craters which all happen to be on the same side of Mars uh, finally get to the sun side of Mars I think we'll get a better experience for this so uh, look for that in the next episode we'll try and build our first lander send that to Mars and hopefully you'll be able to do these missions with a little bit more accuracy I think that's the thing uh, that's that's maybe it's not the camera actually maybe it's the fact that we're not landing accurately enough and that the lander is capable of landing with greater accuracy so I'll be able to hit that spot a little bit better so that's two competing hypotheses um, so we'll try that next time we'll try the lander we'll have our antenna and uh, and hopefully it'll be on the bright side of Mars all right so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time